Okay, aphids attack um, uh, mainly peppers and aubergines and don't attack tomatoes so much. Um, you can see aphids because they congregate on the underside of leaves and into the heads of the plants. They do a similar damage to whitefly in which they suck uh, sap out of the plant and then the sap passes through the aphid, drops onto the lower leaves and because it's sticky um, we get a black sooty mould building up on the plants. Um, there are lots of different sorts of aphids. Um, some are big, some are small, um, but all can multiply up really fast. They can multiply up a lot faster than um, whitefly in that because the mother aphid lays live young and that she just deposits them on the plant and their life cycle is really quick. Therefore, it's very much better to get boss of the job before the aphids start multiplying up. So what we tend to do is put um, our predators in well before we see any aphids because almost guaranteed you're going to get aphid. Your green fire control will come in a tube like this. This tube contains five different predators um, and it's important put this tube out as soon as it comes through the post. Don't open it until you get it into the greenhouse because the parasitic wasps will start hatching out and coming out of the holes um, as soon as you open it. Right, when the Verda Protect comes through the post you take the end off because you need to take the end off because the parasites will come out through these holes here I normally stick it on a cane by just weaving it into the plastic and putting the Verda Protect in the ground, in the shade, out of the sun, out of the rain. That means that the insects, the parasites can hatch out and they will go hunting green fly in your greenhouse and in the local vicinity.